Okay, choose a card. Ace is high, bridge suits. Oh, whoa. 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 whoa! This is why we can't have nice things. Well, they're very slippery. They, yes. they, they are. They are oh, new, like and these are these cards. are fancy. All right. Okay, Jack. Yeah, all right, there we go. So I'm first, and that's all that matters. So in that yep. case, um, you start with six bucks, sir. Um, I start with five. Well, you start with seven. seven. There we Excellent. go. All right, I'm good with six. All right. Oh, and do we also draft those? What? The trainers. Oh, good call. Yeah, the trainers at the top of the board. Oh, you know what? We're, uh, we're going to make Martin go away for a minute. There we go. At the top left corner of the uh, board up there, there are three trainers. And actually, let me have them. I'll bring them over onto the other cam. There, there we go. Cool. And let me throw these here. Oh, this got all. Keddy want us. All right. Thanks. All right. So here we go. This goes in reverse order. So what we have here is you can spend one or more trainer. For each trainer you spend, get two bucks. Can be really useful when you're short on money. This one, when you perform, you can spend one trainer and you can actually ignore the prerequisite of one tile for one performer only per turn. So in other words, let me show you guys, my one here, I don't even have to have anything on here to be able to perform that if I have that one. This one is whenever you build, you can spend two trainers and you can get an extra large piece of whatever color it is that you're drafting unless you spend an extra trainer there then to take a different color. You get the idea, right? So this goes actually in reverse order, so I will not choose. I will defer to my good friend, Mr. Fowler. Well, I have to choose then. Hmm. Awesome. I Lift said I am the first one out of Norway to pronounce it correctly. Whoa. I won. Yes. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the money. All right. And I'm going to go for the show. Oh, well, that worked out because I really wanted this one. So there we go. <laughs> there we go. And everybody starts with their one trainer there. On All right. It is. Oh, thanks, Matt. Appreciate that. That was very kind. Hmm. Yes, and Andrew, suffering for fashion. Boy, am I. And yeah, jeans to boot. Ah, here we go. All I right. think I think it's perfectly comfortable in here. <laughs> yes. Yep. It's, uh, it's yeah. quite a good temperature. Yeah, well, it, I have the fans on, so that helps. All right. So here we go. So what do we want to do to start? I think. I think we build, I think. So what? Um, also, what we should do is probably uh, on our turn go over what our uh, scoring is and what our special abilities are. Special ability is set to a die, any color, whatever value I want. Clear gem, get a buck, purple die, plus two. Easy enough. The end of round stuff is five points for each tent that I have to a maximum, obviously, of five. That'd be 25 points. This one is four points for each different named performer. Kimura, Larissa, Luigi. <laughs> um, then this one <laughs> is three points for each small piece that I have out here in my camp. And this one is one point for each individual little block that I have covered in a shape of a rectangle or square, specifically used with purple. So a purple group of rectangle or square area specifically, okay? And a single line is a rectangle, technically, all right? All right, whew, I need something to drink. Give me a second here. <laughs> all right, that wasn't bad, about 30 minute teach. Hmm. Yeah. Seems reasonable, all right. Whew. All right, so what do we have by way? So I have an extra two on this. So looking at the five purple, that would give me a seven. That gives me two smalls, which helps with that already. And the purple is good there. That sounds good. So I will take draft the five purple, which now makes it a plus two. So that is a seven. You know what I like better than seven? I like nine. So I'm going to discard the purple gem. So a nine says I get a large and a small purple. I do not wish to spend the trainer to be able to change the color of that. So I'm going to then put these bad boys out here. So now, what do we want to do? I want an extra trainer. So, you know what? We will actually go ahead and start like so. I will get another trainer there and then 
I'll spend both of those trainers to then be able to get an extra large piece of whatever color it is that I want. Oh, hey, don't mind if I do. So I will take also a clear gem. Clear gem, sir, please. Oh, yes, sorry. Thank you. And this... Mm, I don't know if I actually want to do with that. Hold on one second. I know I need a trainer for sure. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. So it's going to be a trainer and a performance there. Then I will cover that like so. And then I will get another trainer there. So that'll be another trainer there. And what did I say? Another performance. And I will choose this one. And I will place it out here to then get nothing but set it up for when I get that, right? And then immediately refills. And these guys will now come up there. Boom, done. There we go. Yes. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate that. All Definitely right. going to be doing that then. Um, I'm going to take... Oh, there, there's a collared shirt underneath the sweater to boot and a sleeveless t-shirt underneath that as well. I'm going to take the three green. I'm going to put it on here. Makes it a effective five. Put it in the middle, if you would, so they can see what the extra action is. There you go. An effective five. Chuck that to make it seven. Oh, not nearly as good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you're going to get two green, a purple, and an orange gem. And uh, let's make that two crystal clear ones as well. Because he covered that, and you get a performance okay. as well. I'd and like it could be mystery meat or the others. This one. All right. Now you'll notice that the symbols, it's actually backwards, but to me it just makes more sense to have them inboard to where the other side of the table can see it easier. So there you go. Okay. So I did not, Eric. Let me explain my um, cards here. So this one is the change die to end whatever. This is any die at plus one. This is grab a buck. This is I have, I've imagine only do it once. Discard one gem for two bucks. It is because it doesn't have a plus symbol. It's always a do once, and it's always discard the gem of the die that you place there. To the best of my knowledge. Okay. This uh, so this end of round scoring is one point um, for my um, largest colored die plus any um, what's it pinks, so whatever you pay whatever I might pay basically. There you go. This is four victory points for every large um, tile that I've got on my board up to a maximum of twenty victory points. This is seven victory points for a complete horizontal run, um, and I've got a maximum of three of them, so I could max out at twenty one. And this is, I can convert, do I, do I discard one, do, one buck? Uh -huh. So oh. seven bucks gets you 21 Seven points. bucks would get me 21 points there if I go. went right. for that one. Yep. Oh. Which was part of my thinking of getting the thing to get more bucks, because I'm thinking if I'm going to do this, I'm probably going to need some bucks. Did you still cover up a clear die when you did the thing you, when you rearranged it? I got two trainers and a performance, that's it. Right, so that extra clear... Gem. Uh, you have two. There we go. Fixed. Thanks. That's what you get when you uh, mulligan. Sorry yep. about that. All right, cool. There we go. Good. Yeah. Okay. Right. So I'm thinking it's probably good to get store of money, partly because I'm thinking maybe of this card, but also because it's good to get money anyway. But also, if I do anything, I'm noticing there's a lot of the large greens. I want large things, so I think I'm going to go with an opening with a uh, getting some um, stuff. And what else do we have? One, six, and two available on the green die if I want to go down the green path, which is what I was thinking of doing. Mm hmm. <laughs> Um, I want to minimize my outpayments, I think, so I'm going to take a small two, plop it here so it becomes a three, and discard this to make it five. Um, five is exactly enough to buy one large green wibbly. And then where to put it? I'm 
keeping in mind the fact <laughs> oh, that I, I want to put... I can tell you where to put it. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Edward, for your uh, tasteful interjection. I feel I want more trainers, because trainers do kind of help. And so I'm thinking maybe if I'm thinking of three rows I want to complete, this is perhaps where I want to go. So in order to maximize getting trainers at the beginning, if I put it here, I can get a trainer and a clear gem from that position. So I take a clear gem and another blue trainer, please. Uh, yes, sir. There we go. Oh, and Ilif uh, corrected me on this. That, regardless of the color of the die that you place there, you can discard any color gem to get two bucks. Oh, okay. That's right. It does not that. have to match that. Good. Okay. That helps. Thank you. And I'm done. <sighs> All right. So... Six. That could be a five. That does. Let me look. That's pretty good, but it's not amazing. Um, yeah, I think we're going to do that. So I'm going to take this six green, and I'm going to use my set two here to go ahead and change it to a five instead. By pay more, right? Um, let me see, actually, hold on. I'm really bad at Tetris. Uh, but, yeah, I will set that to a 5. Yeah, that'll work. That'll be 7. That'll be nine there. So nine is going to be a large and a small green. So I will then spend the large green to go there, which gets me another trainer, which, stop me if you've heard this before, go there to be able to get another large green. And the small green We'll go there to cover up the clear gem. And then the other large will go there to get... Let me see something. Where did it do that? How does that look? I think that works. So... Do I want the pieces, though, is the question. You know what? Now that blocks off my purple grouping for that. So, yeah. We'll go ahead and get another clear gem covering that up there. A clear gem, please, Martin. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. And these guys will then come up there. And done. All right. Um, be nice, Loki. Be nice. <laughs> and hi, Luke. Australia in the house. Go ahead. I am going to pick up a red die. Yeah. Or orange die. Orange die, right. Yep. Yeah, I think I'll take the five. Don't really need to do the six no, because these are well, the odd numbers. Um, I think I just want to get a dollar right now, and I'm going to throw that in to make it a seven. And I'm going to build with it. So two small reds? Two small reds seems like the right call to me. And yeah, these trainers seem like a good thing to get. So I'm going to get a trainer, and actually I shouldn't have tossed that gem, because... Thank there you. We go. And I think that is it for my turn. All right, Martin. Hmm. Okay, so I'm still thinking. I'm, part of me really doesn't like what I'm I'm doing, but I'm going to keep going with it anyway. Try and go for the low scoring die to try and minimize my money at the end of the round. So I'm thinking I want to score this one here. Um, maybe a bit early to be thinking too hard about that, but. Um, Hey, I'm going with it, so let's run with it. So, do I fancy getting good? Do I, I'm as, am I mad enough to get one of those one die and just not do anything other than just a little one move on the 
little travel things, is that crazy? Or is it just stupid? Um, I don't know, but I think I'm going to go with it anyway. Um, which, I'm going to go for the purple one. I'm going to plop it here, so I get another buck, please. Right here, I got you. And yeah, a uh, purple, purple gem. gem. And continue my minimalist um, route. Oh, and by the way, with, with this red-orange thing, a little factoid that I picked up this week, apparently the reason we pe call people redheads, even though their hair colour is closer to orange than it is than red, was because at the time we didn't actually have words for the colour orange. It only had occurred for the colour color red. I wouldn't have been able to tell you that, but I actually did read that somewhere. Hmm. I, I, I forget where, but yeah, that's fascinating, isn't it? It didn't yeah. actually have a word for the colour orange. Yes, yep. apparently. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. One. Who do we Eh. I think we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that'd be a three purple. That'll do, pig. That'll do. So. And that's another trainer. Yeah, yeah, we'll go there. So that's going to be a total of eight purple, and we're gonna go ahead and get a moving. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right there. So we started out here. So we're getting two purple, a green, and an orange, please. Two purple, green, and orange. And then this will actually come over here and get me a performance and a trainer. And the performance, I already know which one I'm taking. A moment. That'll be that one. And now, I obviously only have three spaces. I should point out that even if you were full with five performers up here, you have three options. You can either choose to not take a performer, you can take one and just discard it, or you can take one and replace one that you already have if you have five already out there. Oh, well, there we go. And I'm thinking we go ahead and go there. One other thing that I forgot to mention, I apologize. When you do a performance, when you are done performing, you then can freely move your performers, anyone that's left over, to adjust out here in your tableau as well. The turn of the yellow player is complete. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to turn it into a two using my magical power of turning things into different things. I actually don't think I explained my score. You didn't. All right. Uh, so this one says Hold I get. Hold on. They can't. Oh yeah, they can't see you. You're good. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Five points for each performer name that matches. Correct. So I basically would pick the most consistent ones. Uh, three points for each colored gem in my tableau, uh, up to twenty-one points. Double the value of a clear die in my board, up to 10 points. So if I wanted that five, that'd be topping off. And this one's the hardest one to decipher. Uh, I get eight points. <laughs> <laughs> and done. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so I grabbed uh, the orange. I have a total of uh, seven here. I'm going to spend a crystal to make that a nine. And I'm going to pop Perfect. this there, although first I'm going to grab the little one. So a nine lets me get a big and a small. I'm going to do this for the big, and I'm actually going to do this. You said that backwards. That for the little and that for the big. Yes, there I did go. say it backwards. No worries. I think that's what I want, right? Yeah, if I do my Tetris right. So that gets me five points, and that gets me a crystal gem. I really got to stop tossing them over there. <laughs> <laughs> and that puts me at five. All right, Mr. Fowler. Okay, so actually my money position is fairly good. Even if I give all of these out at the end for this scoring thing, I think I'll still be okay, because I've got quite a few things that will get me money, this and this and the like, so I'm not going to be as parsimonious as I thought I was going to be. Uh, maybe I will be. I was thinking, actually, I'll take this one-point green, I'll plop it here, 
and I'll take the opportunity to discard a purple gem for two bucks, two bucks over here. Um, and that gives me three, and then I'll go one, two, three, that'll give me a purple and green gem and this tent. I'm thinking I'll take, put the tent here where I get a trainer, because trainers are cool, though I haven't even used them yet. I can, of course, use a whole bunch of them um, when I need to. Um, and I get my things. And I get a performance card as well. So which performance card do I fancy? That scores a lot of victory points. So it looks interesting. These two combine my combine the big cards, of I course. Which is kind of nice because I'm going to, of course, be looking to maximise my yeah, big yeah. Um, area points in due course. So, but they don't score so many victory points, which is kind of a bit sad. I'm gonna gonna risk the, uh, the big card victory point thing. I'm not sure that I want to put it here though, because that scores. I might want to use this tent early rather than late. So I might think I'm actually going to go there. Is that a bit of a risk opening up my tent at the moment? Well, no, I'll just put it there. I don't want to take the risk. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I am considering. Over, right? Yeah, I am considering committing suicide a little bit. Um, if I want to get too greedy, because I only have five mm. bucks. And I'm trying to figure out which one I'm going to score. Now, none of us have done a performance yet. One, two, three, four. That might not be a terrible thing right there. Oh, what color do we go? So if I get an orange, an orange six. Or the orange five. I guess it's six and one half dozen of the other. Uh, that would be a large. But I really want a small purple. So, you know what? Yep, I'm gonna. Take the orange five. I need a clear gem for that, please, sir. And then I'm going to use the five actually as a three for the small piece. But I'm going to put a trainer over there to then be able to take a small purple. And the small purple will go right there. Gives me a clear gem. I already have all the clear gems, so I'll just take a buck. And done. Interesting. I don't know what I want. I think I'm going to grab... Kind of does give it a bit of a Las Vegas look, uh, the board game last year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to do that, but I think I don't have a choice. Give me the three clear. No, no, no. Uh, three clear die. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I got you. No worries, you're fine, you're fine. And I'm going to turn it into a six. How? Because this lets me copy another station's ability and copy the change to I one. I'm going to use up a clear gem to make it an eight, and I'm going to perform. So it's an eight purple, I guess, technically? Yeah, eight purple. Okay. Oh! You're right. I didn't even think about that. Because that's going to cost you 13. Yeah, I might as well keep it a 5. Save the dollar, save the gem, and make it a green 8. Or you or you can make it a clear 1 and make it an orange 8. Because the color of the performance doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. You're right. But the 8 is important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 8 is enough? 8 is enough. It's going to bring me there, which is going to let me perform two times. Correct. So let's see that you have all of your things. Ah. 
Now I do. Okay. Because this lets me ignore the requirement of one of my performances. Uh, one piece on one performance, correct. Oh! Oh, I did not understand that. Let me verify and make sure. Looking, I want to make sure that I'm not lying to you. So I apologize if I misspoke. Uh, where is that one? There. Uh, disregard one camp tile requirement on one poster, but not a gem requirement. So disregard one camp tile requirement. Okay, I definitely. So I would say one camp tile meaning one camp tile, okay. not one camp. I would have done that differently then if I had known that. And gotten a large green instead. Yeah. And what did you? And you all you did was change the color on. Yeah, go for it. That's fine. Uh, I do have to give because up, he did pay the trainer to be able to do yeah. that earlier. I do have to give up a crystal gem because it won't fit nicely. And I think if I do that, am I gonna be able to fill it up later? Yes, I can fill it up later. Okay, so now, yes, because just so walk people through it. So uh, this one requires this little bitty camp, which I definitely have. So we'll go over that one later. And this one requires a green gem, an orange gem, a big green camp, and a big orange camp. Um, so get rid of those. Well and there you go. It's also going to require me to get rid of a clear crystal gem in order to do that one. Uh, but I'm going to get a total of 15 points and six dollars. And you have the money over next to you. Good yep. job. There we go. All right. And we got confirmation. Yes, I did. I said that right. Now you want to keep those exactly. You got it. You might want to keep the names visible since you have that special one for the names. There we go. Miss Defala, bring us home mm, for the first round. Okay. So um, I think I'm going to take the orange. If only uh, our audience would be having this conversation. This is what you I'm started. Turn with. it into a five because <laughs> uh -huh. what I want to do is to take a large orange. What's it? Tile uh, a please. large orange. What's it, sir? And yeah, I'm just going to stick with that. Just put that, plop that there. That will give me a performance card. And I think I fancy this one because it's large orange plus a green that I already have. Not a very exciting card, mind, but it's something. And um, that's uh, all I did, right? Yes. All right. Oh, so, oh, uh, uh, now this tile to use for money. When do I do that? I have to do that on my turn. On your I can't, turn, correct? Yes. Yeah, so I have to do that now, as it were. Um, oh. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking I was going to do I, want, I don't want the orange one. Sorry, I'm going to do this. Take the green one, because that gives me another format. And then I can plop three of them, because it's as yep, many as and I like. Be, uh, and six quid. Six. So uh, you have know, four bucks. Um, actually, uh, oh, yes. Uh, oh, well, four back. Yeah, there we I guess go. I can sort it out. Yep. All okay, right. Look. So your trainers now come up here. Right. There we go, all of these, so. All right, so we are at the end of the round, so we now owe what we owe. So for me, I owe eight, because that's my highest one. I have a total of six, so I actually lose two points. I'm good with that. And I owe eight, I have enough. Okay, and Martin? I owe five, so I owe five. Then uh, new master, and trainer. So we go in this order, and that will be the first player as well. So, Red, choose first. Hmm. So, uh, go over what these are. Um, I think the tops are pretty self explanatory. The bottoms are four points for each of that type uh, the little claw symbol, the green uh, performances. Completed four points for every large tile up to 20 points and four points for each of the T Tetris pieces the small red oranges then the trainers that are associated are Spend a trainer and get a clear gem spend a trainer and add a plus two to any die when building and this is take two trainers 
and then whenever you cover a bonus out here, you get can do a double whatever the bonus is one time per turn because no pluses. Now, when you say one time per turn, if I double up, if I had two at once, you choose one of them, and that will yep. be it for that turn because remember they clear off. Right. Well, I just want to make sure it wasn't each one I cover. Um. Wow. Like that's, I like that. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> and you will be scoring it at some point, whether it's half at the end of the game or, or during what at the end of one of the three rounds. So keep that in mind. Honestly, I think because I already have three, uh, that kind of makes sense to you for yeah. you, I should say. And and that's although, not, that's not a bad bonus. Yeah, the trainer. I uh, the trainer top. I like that one. So. There you go, and just set it like right here for right now, because space. Martin. Well, I've got my eyes on these. I've already got this card exactly the same one for scoring, so it'll effectively allow me to do that thing <laughs> twice. Um, this is always nice little bonus. I'll take that, and it looks like I've gained an extra point. Oh, there we so. go, <laughs> blocking Edward. So even better. So, so you can't put it up until you say it. I really <laughs> wanted that one. That one master. Well, oh, come on, work with me. There we go. Turn a performance card picked up for covering the space. Well, on I choose tools. this one. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So now that we have done that, oh, we're going to. Oh yes, sorry, Shrey. I, I made a, a mulligan. What? I covered up this space and took the performance card, and I shouldn't have taken the performance oh, card. Oh, so I believe. Hold on. Not that one. That it one. was this one. Yeah. Good. There you go. Sorry about that. Yes, Shrey. Thanks for catching that. Peanut gallery is on fire. Yeah. All right, so in turn order, we'll go ahead and score one. So I will go ahead and score the purple area. So it's this rectangle right there. That's going to be 18 points, 2 and 16. And then that will go away, and this will replace it. There we go. It's funny. It seems like the top is conversely or inversely uh -huh. powerful to the bottom because... Uh, that would be an easy eight points, but I want that power. Uh, how much is this? This is 12 points right now. I don't really need the green die anymore. I think that's the best call. Might as well just get more points. And 12 for red to 32. Mr. Fowler. Well, as this one was always the one, so I spend seven bucks, get 21 points. Welcome to the game. There we go. And you get your new card mm -hmm. to replace it. Uh, all right, so now go ahead, replace your dice out here, get your trainers. Uh, new trainers and new masters out, please. And only three of them, because three player. All right, what is this assuming? Alright, so what do we have for the trainers? For each one that you put here, whatever die, plus one pip value. This is, you get one extra victory point for every performance that you perform. If you put a trainer out there, a trainer gives you a plus two. Then here, spend one trainer, get a small square green. Or a small green. Four points for each small green. green. There you go. And then, uh, or small green specifically. The tops are pretty self-explanatory. This is for the small purple, four points. And the top one is six points for each complete vertical uh, row. Column, column. Yeah, for that's a column. maximum of 18 points. There you go. All right, so we keep the same turn order. I was not expecting that. Hey, Stein. Oh, turn order change. Another, another Norwegian, welcome, all right. So is this the turn order now, or do we still go clockwise? No, it's always clockwise. The only one that matters is that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that. All right, what are we trying to do? I think I want two of those now in a perfect world. But am I worried too much about that? Maybe? Let's see. Done, 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 done. I need that, and I need that. Okay. Alright, um, no, not yet, 
Okay. Actually, I do need to count a moment. That'll work. Yeah. I'm going to take this four orange, turn it into a five orange. And the five orange will then become a nine, 11, 13, 15. I could. Oh, yeah, let's do it. So that five and 10 makes that 15. And that means I get two large and two small orange. So two large, two small. So that's going to be two bucks, three points for yellow, please. And three bucks so far. And then these bad boys will be Yeah, that'll be one, ooh, hmm. huh. that'll be one performance there, and two bucks. And the performance will be any different name. So I have three different so far. No, 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 no. Mystery meat. Potentially, but man, I already have some stuff that works. Like I could be able to start planning out, but the green also is good. All right, Mr. Me. Oh, it's a new name. There we go. We'll go ahead and put that one right there. Done. All right. I'm going to grab the green five, please. One of the green fives. Any particular green five? I, I like that one. That was a good one. Okay. I'm going to use that to get a dollar. And I'm going to spend a trainer because I'm going to be traveling backwards. One, two, three, four, and five. So that'll be a performer in each color gem. Oh, I started there. Did you? Yes. Okay. So it would be that would be a performer though. Right. Yeah. And one of each color. Okay. And get a purple gem, please. Mm -hmm. Just the purple. Right. Thank you. There we go. And choose a performance, sir. I'm actually going to choose two because I obviously I put it down on something, which also gets me another trainer from the supply. Uh, this one to start. And immediately refill, and then choose another, sir. Is that green? Oh, I didn't grab the green one. Somebody else said you did. Oh, that's cute. It's a little armadillo. It is. An electric armadillo at that. Oh. <laughs> well, I think, though... Hmm. I don't really have a need for any particular one, so I think I'll just go for this one. Mr. Fowler. Okay, I've got my eye on trying to get this performance out. Um, so if I take a five green, and I can actually not too borrowed, borrowed. I think I'll plop it on one of these. Take a buck, put it here, so just in case I have to rewind. <laughs> uh, use a trainer here that will knock it up to seven, which will allow me to take two small what's its. Um, there you go, sir. And then that just goes there, yep. right? So yeah, I can do this again exactly. later on exactly. in the round. Exactly. So now I've just got to decide where to put my two small watsits. Um, I think they're going to go here and here, which will get me a performance card and a clear gem. So there's my clear gem. And what do I want for a performance card? Well, that's juicy. 
Yeah, we're gonna see if this right. works out, Andrew, or not. I'm, I'm not this, sure. I'm gonna go for the what's gonna give points. That looks tasty. It's another armadillo. That's so cute. I will take the six clear, which will get me a clear gem. Whee! And then we're gonna go. That's eleven orange. That's gonna go to there. So that's going to be, it looks like, four orange, or three orange and a buck. So three orange gems, please. Two green and a purple. And a purple. There we are. And this, which, give me a moment, let me throw these out. There we go. So now, this will go ahead and get me two more clear gems and a performance. Uh, right. A moment, sorry. I'll take that one. That'll work. And Alberic comes out. Done. Okay. Seriously, an armadillo here in Massachusetts last year? All right. I think I'm going to take this three green, and I'm going to turn it into a one. No, I'm going to turn it into a two. For a seven green power, and I'm going to move seven spaces in the greens. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. For a total of two performance cards, one orange, two green, so one of each, and a dollar. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I just get one orange and one green, and two dollars. Because I'm already capped out on purple and... There you go. And two performance cards. Two performance cards. Uh, it'll be three total. And two more dollars. We'll have to sort that out. They immediately refresh? Yes. So, so you get that, and then... There you go, sir. Oh, bummer. I'll take that one. And what's the name of that one? Albrecht. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I doubled up in the wrong direction. Did oh. you get two already? You get two performances? Oh, and I should get a third one, shouldn't I? Oh, for covering the camp. Yes, yes. you should. I... Yeah, I don't have enough purple to justify those. All right. Oh, wow. These Pardon? were really well shuffled. I assure you they were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, so I'm going to go for a performance. I'm going to want to do a double performance so that I can get these two done. Question is, which dice do I want to do? I could grab one of these, switch one, spend a gem. Um, doesn't really matter which color. Or I could hold with what I've got and spend two, say, one of these, and then spend two gems. I've got the gems. I've even got the purple gems. Maybe I'll do that. So maybe uh, that will leave that for flexibility later on. I like flexibility. So I'm going to drop this down here for four, spend two purple gems. That will make it an eight, and that will allow me to perform on my eight slot. Now, in order to perform these two, I need two large greens, which I have, and two small greens, which I have, and two green gems. I have one green gem and one clear gem, which is anything. So well that, done. Well done. It does. And then I get the benefits. So the benefits are 11 plus 2, which is 13 victory points. 13 to 34. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 bucks. Okay. Not too bad a haul. Yeah, that, that'll do. And then both cards go away because I've performed them. All right. So now. I would like 
a large and two small, which is a 15, which is a 4 orange. There isn't a 4 orange. Oh, there can be, though. And I think there's going to be. Yep. Not getting a lot of money for that, though. Need to be careful. Um... So it's going to be that and that. Okay. So if that's the case, we need uh, How greedy do we want to get? Very. I would need one whenever I build, but I don't have the extra camp. Well, a 12. Could get a one orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's stop at eleven. Oh, and that gives me a ton of money. That'll do. So that's going to be a buck. That's 12. Wait, how's, how's that 12? It's not. You're right. Hold on. Because it doesn't count after the fact, does it? That's right. One, two, three, four. No, oh, six works. That still works. That'll be six. <laughs> <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four bucks. There. I'll put that there. That gives me a performance and two bucks. And now we can afford our stuff. Uh, so the performance, do we want to replace something? A moment while I figure this out. Um, this could be tempting because I think then I can perform four of them. I will replace that with that and that goes out of play. Done. For real now. Done. There we go. Oh, hey Stein. Thank you. That sounds really impressive. That's a hundred Norwegian something or other. So thank you. I'll take the two orange. It doesn't really matter. It's just the orange. Two orange. Well, I'm going to convert it to a... Oh. And Martin, don't forget you can rearrange your performance at the oh, end. Oh, yes, quite right. So if you want to do so. Okay? I do. Good point. Uh, and take a six orange, and I think I'm going to make it a 12 orange? He says confidently. Hmm. Yeah, I'll make it. Uh, 12 orange. And get it. All right, 12 orange. What are you doing with it? I am going to get, obviously, two orange camps. And I'm going to put... Oh, oh. Put that there. I'm going to use my double trainer to get double the bonus of that, which is two trainers. And I think this second tile will go right below it for two points. Ah, uh, do I want two points? Is that easy? Yeah, let's just go two points. All right, two, four, red. Yep. And before we get started, or before we go any further, a moment, if y'all will indulge me. That is... Andrew! 
Ba -ba -ba! I tried oh. to give you a little fanfare, but it wasn't very impressive. There we go. The number went All up. Right. That's the important thing. Cheers. Yes, cheers. Thank you for the support, Andrew. And also, thank you to Stein for the equivalent of $11. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. It's awesome. All right. Okay, so Martin, you're up. Okay, I think I'm going to target trying to get as many points out of this all this card as possible since I have both cards. So I'm going to take the six green. Um, I'm going to plop it on here. And it will make it seven, which plus five is twelve, which is just what you need to get two what's its. Um, two larges. And that's what I'm exactly going to do. Two large greens, super play. Uh, two large greens, sorry, I'm. Flaking out. Yeah, or, okay. or, or, or trying to plan my turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, now planning your turn is, is important. I, that's all I need to do as well. Um, am I happy with two greens? Do I want to switch a colour? I don't think I want to switch a colour. I think going down here is good because that way it will... S Even though I'm not primarily aiming for one of these 20, what, this 21 point thing, I, of course I get half points for it, so it's got to be good. Or I might prefer it over getting the 20 over there in the future. So if I pop these down in this position, I get two bucks and three performance cards. Three bucks, you said? Two bucks. Two bucks. So and three performance cards. Two bucks. So three bucks back. Thank you. And three performances. Ooh, Remember, which one is... at a time if you choose those because they refill. Right. Okay. Well, since I've already got one of those, that's as close as I'm, it's closer than any other one I'm likely to get, so I'll take that one. Do I have to place it before uh, I choose? Hmm, that's a good question. I will have to look at that. The poster you took must be placed on an empty space in your poster area, but it doesn't say the specific timing on that. So I would argue that you take them all and then figure out where you're going to place them. Okay, and there's three of them I'm going to get. So um, this and this are exactly the same in their requirements, so it wouldn't require doubling up. I'm going to grab it anyway, because I don't really like any of the other ones. And don't forget, you have mystery meat. And I think I'll take the mystery meat for the third one, because I'm okay. still not liking those. Okay, so this is what I have. Um, what's most likely that I'm going to be able to get quickly? Um, one of these two, I think. Um, that one scores a little bit better, but requires gems. I don't think I'm going to need the money, so I'm going to put that in a position where I can play it. And I'll see if I can actually get to perform those. Okay, so that's me done, I think. All right. Purple four, which gets me oh, a... You were right, Edward. The designer himself has spoken. There you go. Taking place them all. Awesome. All right. Good deal. So green gem. That's a buck. So that's a four. A moment. Let me make sure I'm not doing it. Yep. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Yep. So that's a fourteen purple. That says four performances. We're doing those four. So here we go. Kimura has that. Albrecht has those two right there. Larissa has those two right there. And then Lungile, I think, is this and that. So checks out. So then I need an orange, a clear, and a green. And a green. And that takes care of all four of those performances, which will be 1, 3, 6, 11, 17, 24, 29 points. 29, 1, and 28 is 48. And then 2, 4, 6, 8, cash. So turn that in and get a 10. Do you have that sinking feeling, Greg? No. Oh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so these four are done. Um, I'm just going to, there you go. So I have four different names. So just FYI uh, for this guy right here for when that comes to be. Done. Mm. All right. And uh, that was my performance. Done. Okay. 
Um, oh, and I can rearrange at this point. So I will go ahead and rearrange that to there. Done. Do you want to hand me the orange die? Mm-hmm. That looks like a nine. It is a nine. Uh, am I going to keep it at a nine? Yes. And I'm going to spend two trainers to do a purple and a green instead of... Uh, oh. And allow me that just to get a clear gem as well. Because I have nothing better to do with it. So let's see. The purple go. goes there. Oh, that's awkward, and I don't like that. Do I choose not to spend that second trainer? I should have done oh, that. That should have gone over there. And I'm not going to choose my second trainer for that because uh, I should have also done that. Oh well. Yeah, I'm going to stick to that. Stay on target. But I am going to do this. Oh, there's no point in changing the pip value. What'd you cover up with that one? Oh, this, which gets me another trainer and two dollars, and this gets me a crystal gem. So another trainer. Here. And two bucks. And two bucks. Thank you, thank you, Tony. Thank you. Red Eye Ghost, appreciate it. The applause for the uh, performance. Mm. Martin? It was impressive. Okay. Suddenly feeling my whole plans have been really petty. But there we are. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm going to go with a purple die, and I'm going to rotate it to a number of my choice, which I think is going to be, uh, might as well be a 10, because I'm going to have to pay 11 on that anyway. And I've got enough money to pay for my dice, so I'm not going to worry on that front. So I'm thinking if with 10 purple, maybe knock it up to 12 and grab two large purple what's it on the build please okay watch my hooch hits right there there we go yep. um and that will i can use that to complete here which will, which will give me three rows of thing mm -hmm. for later on yep. and two well victory done. points right away which i'll take so another brief moment not in last place and anything worth snagging here, I can snag a bit of money if I do that. I can snag a bit of money if I do that. Both is snagging a bit of money, but I'm not sure either of this else is. Well, I guess the best thing is to try and complete splots, isn't it? So what? Thanks, Tony. Yeah, trying to complete, get close to completion of things, maybe, something like that. Um, yeah. I'm thinking that's probably a good place for it. So that just doesn't give me anything, but that's all right, because I'll get more later. All right, so now we pay uh, end of the round, so I'm going to owe a total of 12. So yeah, I'm going to owe 7. Pick a color, I owe 7. Okay, and Martin? I owe 11. All right, greens. so now in this order, we're going to choose these. I'll choose this one. Well, I haven't even been paying attention to this. That will give you the most points. That will get, at some point. Well, yeah, except I'm, uh, I think I'm well, I'm covered actually on my, yeah, but I, as you're right, I get my uh, bonuses, half bonuses at the end anyway. I'm unlikely to get stretched vertically since I've been stretching horizontally. Um, and it's always good to get an extra two watts it. It's on the die, so I'll take that, even though Greg's probably got a special plot for that and he's, I've already got it. I've got one build left, and then it's good. Oh, I forgot to play these. I did the same. I'm angry at myself for not having done that. I knew I needed to play those, and then forgot to play go those. Go ahead. You were last, so go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. thank what you. What were you going to do? Yeah. I was just going to plop them on the money. So six, six, six bucks. Six bucks. And that's why I was holding them back, and then I thought, yep, no worry. six. Thank you. All right. So these will reset. So first player will be Greg in this case. But then uh, we need to score a master card. And what do I have? I only have one of the greens so far. So let's see. That's two of these. One of those. Yeah, that's a no. This would be 15. That would be 20, potentially 25. 
Uh, and that's 16. I think I know I'm going to be able to complete that one, so that's going to max that out at 20 next round. So why don't we go ahead and do this one? So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so a total of 15 for that. So 3 and 12 more to 63. And plus the extra one buck doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Done. And, sir? Well, I think I'm going to do the hardest math of all. Let's score eight points. Mm. Easy enough. Eight to 42. Yep. Lose the versatility, but. And Martin? I could score this for 20 or this for 21. You know what 21 is? Uh, more, one than, more than 20. Yep. So 37 to 57. There we go. Mm. And take your trainers. Reroll and put those out, please. And we don't bother with those, right? Uh, right, because it doesn't matter. Okay. They're just ones not used for our game. There we go. There we go. And the final round begins. Greg, you're up. Yep. Um, so I think I have to build. I'm trying to figure out what is the best thing to build towards. Right now I need a little one of green, a little one of green, yeah, big one, big one. So I guess green. <laughs> Green's the answer. Uh, let's grab the three, because it's the highest three. value. Okay. And I'm going to just straight up turn it to a six. Uh, no, I'll turn it to a five. I'm going to spend two green gems to make it a nine, which gets me a big green and a little green. And where can I put it to maximize its effects? Oh, that'll work. I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Oh, maybe I don't want to do that. Yes. Okay. And I'm actually thinking I'm going to spend. I'm going to spend some trainers. So right now I was at a nine. Yep, because you spent these two gems. Yeah, if I spend. Another gem that puts that at 11. If I turn this to a 6, it makes it a 12. I'm going to spend truly trainers. This is 15. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. So I'm turning this into a 6, spend all three of my gems for 12, and three trainers on this to make it an effective 15. Okay. To get another one. Oh, good, because you can't place that big one where you did. Yes. Yeah, I know. Problem is, I want to get a purple in there at some point, so I don't want to cover that up just yet. So I'm going to put that there. Put that there, and put that there. Which gets me two crystal gems, which will actually be one dollar and one crystal gem, and two bucks. So three bucks and a gem. Here, and there. Martin. Okay, so I'm very well set for scoring down here. I'm thinking I really want to try and get some of these going. I don't want to go twice to the performance thing, so I'm really thinking I'm needing another tent. I rather like the look of this tent with its seven bonus victory points. So that would make me want to do a one, two, three orange. Uh, orange. Or a four orange. Four orange will do nicely, I think. Um, I might as well put it on the wussiest spot, which is um, this one, um, for which I just get a buck, because so, that's kind of boring, but that's okay. One, two, three, so I get a purple and an orange gem, and this rather nice tent. I'm going to think this is the one I'm likely to do, so that would go there, so it gives me two more bucks. And a card. And a performance. Oh, yeah, another performance card. 
Um, uh, and just a quick reminder goes. to everybody that you can spend one trainer to rearrange your performances before the performance happens. So if you draw something, put it here, and you want to swap it out with one of the ones you have, it just costs you a trainer. Okay? Ah, I should have thought of that. Um, maybe I do still want to think about it. Oh, it's too much to think about. Um, I'm not really keen on any of those cards, and I don't know that I'm actually going to get anything done, so I'll just take the mystery meat. Ooh, actually not that bad, I guess. Okay, that's me. It's got to be green, and there aren't greens big enough. Oh, but there can be, can't there? There can be. That'll go there. Change that to a six. One, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, seven, eight. That's an eight green. That's a 10 green. And counterclockwise. 10 green. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. From here. So we're looking at 3 green, which I got them. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, 4 green. Check that. 4 green. So 3 green and a buck. Hand me a buck if you would. A 2 purple and an orange, which 2 purple and an orange. And three performance cards. Ex and that's the key right there. Mm. It's setting up for another big performance. He's gonna, he wants those claps again. I do, I do. Um, well, first one we're gonna take mystery meat. That's two. Oh. Um. So if we go there, just looking at this real quick, so I have those two counted for and those three. So I still got some big purples to do and small so I could do this one as well so I will take this one which will go there and that was the three performances that we have this guy yeah we'll go there done Greg I'll take the five orange, please. I will go there, which makes an effective seven. And that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now, do I have to take performance cards? Uh, no, you can choose to either not take it, take one and just discard it, or replace one. Okay. I'm just going to choose to not take them. Okay. Um, so I'm going to get four points. Four for red, two orange, a buck, and a green. By the way, did you get me my dollar that I would have gotten? For, did I, I? Put it in your hand. Did you? Okay, then yes, I guess I did. Martin, you're up. Okay, so if I am going to do this triple, bill, uh, triple performance at some point, I'm going to need to get to those little orange what's-its. So I better do some building. Um, so what do we have for building options? Um, I need to get up to seven to get two little ones. Remember, you have your set two. Um, yeah. Plus two, so I only need to get up to five. So that one orange die might be just enough. So maybe I'll just go for that. Do it the simplistic way. Um, is it worth trying to go super big for anything big? I'm not sure that it really is. So no, I'm going to go here. So that's five. Plus two is seven, which will give me two small oranges, please. And I get a green small as well if I put a trainer on. 
Do I want to do that? It's two victory points again to the game, so I think I do. Okay. I'm going to have enough money, I think. Um, so, now I could start filling in blocks, but on the other hand, there's victory point scores up here, but I don't have to be all touching, right? I can just plop them just wherever I like. Just a side has to touch. A side has to touch, that's it. Okay, so, okay, so maybe... Um, how could I do this so that it would... Uh, uh, that would fill that, and then I could fill that in there, that would be one possibility. Or if I could go there, what would I need to do that? could do this, could fill this, and get me a trainer. Uh, but then that's difficult, isn't it? That's not going to work. Ah, Tetris. I never was good at it. I could abandon the idea of trying to fill that and then just try and make it kind of glob up somehow with by doing so this and this. Abandon all ideas of filling up slots, which would kind of be a shame, but that would be interesting. Or I could could try and fill it. No, no, I think I'm, I'm going to abandon all the idea of filling slots up. Do those two and that. That will get me eight victory points and a clear crystal. And who cares about filling his slots? Because eight <laughs> victory points is more valuable than filling up a slot. So eight VPs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a clear crystal. And a brief moment in the lead. In the reserve to get the... Oh, I must put it back. Oh, I completely lose does it in the reserve. So, yeah, it doesn't matter, though, does it? Because it's not as if I'm going to use it okay. in a future turn, so it'll work. Son of a biscuit. Sorry for the moment. Uh, I think I will do that. I'll put that there to take a clear gem. So that's 12 green. That'll be three performances. So I believe we will do these three right here in the middle. So we have the two little purple and the big purple. So those will be done for this and two purple gems. So, Alberic is done. I need a green gem. I have one large, one small, and one lar or a small there. And then I need another orange gem there. Then I need another large and a large there. And I need a clear gem. So those three are now complete. So that's going to be 10, 21, 21 and 13 is 34 points. 34 is 97, and then four, seven bucks as well. And those are done. Okay. And I will rearrange. Put that right there. Oh. Uh, real quick, one more thing also. Um, I will use one trainer for that for an extra three points at a hundred and there and there, right? Yes. You know what? Let me take that back. I don't need the three points that bad. Instead, I will do that and spend four bucks to go ahead and get two more performances. Two large. That'll work. So I will take this one. Go there. 
that replaces that. And two, two, good. That would need a third, so I can't do that one. That would need a third, I can't do that one, can't do that one. I uh, mystery me. <coughs> Done. I'll take no, the that's it. orange yeah. six. Orange six it is, yes sir. I'm going to put it here to gain a dollar. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, uh, Eric and Matt. So 11 plus that makes uh, 13 plus this one makes for a total of 15 for camping building. A big and two littles. Uh, what color? Orange? A big and two littles? Well, I'm not going to do orange. I'm going to change two of them. One to green and one to purple, so I need a little orange, a big green, and a little purple. Done. And I'll put that there. Put that there. And... Oh, that's the obvious one. Right there. Um, but I'm going to ignore all of the bonuses I would get because they are all performance cards, and I don't want to swap out anything I have. Easy enough. All right, Martin, and these go away. Hmm. So I'm setting myself up to do this triple performance. I'm actually wondering, is it worth trying to do a triple performance or do two double performances? Because then I can use this tent twice, and this tent, of course, oh, is seven point. victory points. So I'm thinking I might do that. So that then means I only need the uh, eight instead of the fourteen. In fact, yeah, the eight instead of the fourteen will be just fine. So I can easily get eight, can I? Well, I've got five orange. I need to use a clear one. Um, five plus three is eight, isn't it? That's in fact nine if I had that. So yeah, so that would give me um, the eight point orange, allowing me to perform here. So I can do two of these. So I'll do these two. So I need to use, I've got the two of these and that, and I've got one of these and one of these, yep. no problem. So I use a orange gem and a green gem, which is clear, another clear gem, which is green, plus the purple gem, plus mm, another clear gem. That will stop me from doing this again. Oh well. So it's these three, right? Those two. Those two, sorry. Those two, and I'm suddenly realizing I can't do this one again. Uh, so maybe I should do the three. Okay, then do it. Um, so, but the three would require me to get 14 over here. So I would need to get this up to 14. If I turn that to a six, um, then it would be six, 10, 11. And then that. Uh, you know, so it would be 10, 11, and then 13. 13, which is what? Not 14. Oh, right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I've got a, uh, I've got a six, well, no, plus if one. You, if you turn it to oh, a six, Oh, that's true, but then I would not, be, uh, would not be there. Six, ten, eleven. You have extra trainers, you could put them there. But that, is that for moving for around? No, it's for performance. Oh, that's for a performance. Okay. Then, um, yes, but then I'm going to have 14, I'm going to have to watch my money. Oh, I've got, I'm going to get a blob of money from doing this anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll be all right. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, so that becomes a six there. Six over here. So that gives me the fourteen. So we'll do the yep. triple. So that'll be six, twelve, nineteen, um, twenty-seven points. Victory points. Twenty-seven to seventy-two to ninety-two, and that goes as well. And then two, six, seven, eight. Um, 11. 11 cash. And there you go. Well done. Those all go away. Okay. Whoever rolled that was terrible. Thank you. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anybody said to me all day. <laughs> or I might as well rearrange things just in case. Well, I can't perform either of them, so it's a bit of a waste of time. Eight. Come on, 
where is it? 8, 10, 12, 14. And I need 15. Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, because I can't use the trainers because I want that. So we gotta get to 15. How do we get to 15? It's eight. Oh wait, you need another 10, pistol. 12, 14. And the clear would be 16. Done. There. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Yep. That's going to be a large, or as I like to call it, too large and too small. That's 7 points and a clear crystal. Three, seven. For a second, I thought we were going to have a glory to Roman Reigns. Turn that to a six, which gives me, uh, what 17? is that, 17? Yep. And we're going to add a crystal to make that 19, and a trainer to make that 20. Here comes a big one. Mm. All right, here we go. Let, so... Show your work, sir. All right, so this has that and that right okay. there. Yep. That one has that one, that one, and that one. Yep. That has that one and sure. <laughs> the third one of those and another one of those. And I have... <gasps> oh, I'm short one purple. You are. You are. Well, you are then nice. I guess instead of spending that trainer on there... I'm spending it there. And now he's good. And there now we're go. good. And that's still five performance. Yep, there yep. you go. And I'm also going to need to get rid of two purple gems, a green gem, and a crystal. And an orange, right? Uh, and an orange. So there. So, yep. Looks good. And well done. Going to get all of them done in one go. So that's going mm. to be 10, 15, 22, 25... 29, 32, uh, 42, 47. 47 and 46, 47, 53, 93. And I get eight bucks. Well done. Mr. Fowler. Hmm. Well, what can I do here? I can't do any these performances because I don't have um, the requisite pieces to do either of them. So I'm not going to get any victory points that way. Going round on circles doesn't get really me any victory points, so maybe my only way of getting victory points is to see if I can fill up any um, gap here. I'm already maxed out nicely on many of these things. Um, certainly I could pick up a couple of victory points by grabbing another small green what's it. Um, But that doesn't help fill in if I wanted to say get this. Well, that would fill that block, that would fill that central piece. I was thinking of trying to get two of these and maneuvering them, but you really need an orange and a purple to do this. And the trouble with that, I only have one trainer. And I would need one trainer to change colour and then another trainer to um, do something else that I needed to do. I was calculating it somehow and it wasn't going to work. Oh, uh, so flip the die around because I need a, would need a decent die to score it. So basically, none of it's, none of it's very attractive. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll take a purple one and use the trainer here to flip it to a six. Um, that would allow me to get a large purple. Do I want a large purple? Yeah, I might as well take a large purple. It'll do as good as anything else. Could you give me a large, oh, a large purple, purple, please? Oh, yes, sir. Because that's a six plus one, so that's seven. Oh, actually, I could take two small purples. Is that better? 
large purple would go or something like that, that would finish that one off. If I did small purples though I can't get it to bend round, uh, oh yeah it could, yeah, actually two, two small purples. Two actually. small purples in lieu of that. That will work slightly better because I can do this. Oh, actually no it's not going to help, I can't finish both of them off. Oh well, what the hell, just do this and give myself a a uh, crystal, not that it's probably going to be much use. Probably scores of itch point or something. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, that's done. I don't think there's any other way I can do anything better. That'll go there, so that's going to be an 8. Allows me to do two performances, which are going to be those two. I need a purple gem and an orange gem for those. And then I have plenty enough for everything else to be able to complete those. So that's going to be 5, 10, 19 points. 19, so back one, 23. Yep. And three cash. There and there makes that. Yep. All right. So now we go through, make our final payments. So I owe six, seven, eight, I'm sorry, eight, nine, I owe 15. I owe 17. I owe 11. Which, one dollar left over. Two, so mm. well done us, I suppose. Oh, well, that's uh, Age of Steam, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so new master, so in this order. So this one doesn't matter because it goes in that order. So red, choose. Thank you. Uh, oh, well, this is equal, what's Yeah, it? the same name performers. I think you want the, uh, the purple one. Uh, Larissa, I've got two Larissa's. Oh, wait. Oh, those are big purples. Two Larissa's will be three each. Uh, no, this, will, this gets me slightly more. But what, what does it do with you? No, well, I already picked. So oh, you already picked. So yeah, it doesn't make a difference, and Edward's going to win anyway, so... <laughs> I might as well just grab this one. Seems like I get slightly more for this. All right, so now we complete one with uh, full full scoring. So, Greg, go ahead. Uh, well, one of the five. Yeah, this gets me 20 points, so I will... What one? This one right here. It gets me one point for each in a grid. Uh, the max is 20, and yeah, this checks out. is perfect for that, actually. 13. Well done. And right. discard that one. And Mr. Fowler? I get 20 points, so one of my four uh, times large what's it? So right behind yeah. me. Right there, and over there. Uh, it's going to be 20 no matter which one I score this way. So I will do uh, different names, a max of five. So there's a Camora, a Armadillo, a Larissa, a Alberic, and a Lungile, or Lungeal. So that's five, that's 20. To 43. All right, so that is this one. That goes away. All right, so now we go into final scoring. Final scoring is all of your remaining master cards all score at half value. So start with Greg. All right, so this one we'll start with so I can get rid of the dice. Um, so it's one point per pip. One point per pip, so six points. Six for red. All right. So get rid of the dice and the card. Uh, this is up to ten points, but I was one shy of doing it. So that's, so that's eight. Eight points, yep. To 27. Uh, this, unfortunately, I can only get two names, so that's only going to be... Uh, five points. Five points. Okay. And this one I did get, that's uh, nine whole points. Oh, I'm sorry, that was the three columns. Right. Sorry. So 20, so 10, 20. one more. No, 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 max right. of 18. Oh, sorry, check that. Okay, and you, Martin. Okay, well, this, uh, I got the maximum again, so it will be a straight 10 for that. So that's, that's Good to know, 22. I left, thank you. Okay. Um, here I have one, two, three of them, so that's 12, so that's another six. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
And this, um, I did have 11, because I remember paying for it, so that okay. would be effectively another 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, so I will score for that one, which is for my greens, which... That's 2, so that'll be 4 points. Yep. Then for purple, small purples, I only have two of those at two points apiece. That'd be four. Then this is uh, for the same name ones, and I have uh, three of them, so nine, so that'd be four points for this one. And then this tent does not score for this one, so it's one, two, so it's 15, so that'd be seven more. Then for every five bucks you have left over, you score a point. Nope. And uh, now your scoring area. So, Martin, how many... And remember, you can move gems in to fill in areas. Oh! oh. So <laughs> I'd forgotten about that. That makes a, quite a difference. It so does. Allows me to, uh, oh, no, it didn't allow me to fill that one. Yes, it does. It yeah, it does. fill that one. So, okay, so I have one... So one, two, three, four are unfilled, so that means you got five filled. So that's 20 points. 20 points. Good calculation, sir. And Greg? Does uh, I didn't fill two. In fact, so, I almost didn't even touch two. So that would be seven. That's 28. So 69. 69. And I have one gem, which ain't getting it done. So that's three empty areas. So that's six. That's 24. to 86. So there we go. Redemption after last night's <laughs> terrible teacher <laughs> at 186. Greg at... 169 and Mr. Fowler, thank you for playing yep. at 155. And um, did you have one more? Oh, you have one more card to score. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, four more points. Four more points. Doesn't make a difference. Well, uh, 159. Did, did you, so there we go. Did you score for your two bucks? Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. All right, so there we go. 